Let me ask you this. Are you tired of sucking at zombies? Are you tired of never being able to complete an easter egg? Are you sick of having such a small package inside your pants? Well guys, Leonardo DiCaprio here and I have the answer to your problem. Okay guys, serious talk now. You know me, I have been playing Black Ops 4 Zombies every single day for the last two to three months. I've had a lot of experience with a lot of the weapons inside this mode. And let me tell you, no gun that I have used even compares to the power that is the M1897. This is a shotgun that turns into a grenade launcher when it's packer punched and oh my god this is like a dark horse i wish i knew about this weapon before because after playing with it for a few hours to unlock the camo today i can tell you right now this is probably a gun i'm going to be using as a secondary weapon for pretty much all the maps that i play in the future before we actually you know get into some of the details of the weapon i just want to say if you do enjoy the video a like is much appreciated as always and if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on a future video okay so the m1897 is a shotgun like i said and when pack a punch turns into a grenade launcher when you first actually get it off the wall it's actually a one shot kill up until around like round eight so straight off the wall it's a powerful weapon to begin with but then the fun starts when you begin to pack a punch this and even begin to start double pack a punch in it because even though it's a grenade launcher it still has the double pack a punch abilities and as i said i never really talk about a weapon i've never made a video on a weapon but this weapon is so damn good i think it deserves just a small video about it so when you pack a punch it, it turns into a grenade launcher, which you can either shoot it and it'll go off after a few seconds, or the most efficient way to use it is to actually directly hit the zombies. It requires being a little bit accurate, so maybe lower your sensitivity down a little bit. But if you could be learning to hit these direct hits, honestly, it's so powerful. You could have a group of about 20 zombies and you shoot one grenade, just, just one shot into that crowd and it'll kill every single one of them zombies that is seriously how powerful this weapon is i mean just look at it against a blight father like i have never really killed a blight father that fast actually no in fact i have never killed a blight father as fast as that gun has just killed that one then and i know it's round 15 and you know they progressively get more difficult as the round goes on to kill but playing around with the weapon, I never actually had difficulty killing a Blight Father, and no matter what round it was. It is a really powerful weapon, and it's not used enough. It's not talked about enough. And I feel like you guys should really go and try this weapon out. Here you can see some gameplay of round 60 and 70 plus, you know. It's a really powerful weapon. Still in the round 70s, you're still getting that one shot, one kill, exploding a bunch of zombies. Obviously, as you get into the you know the late 30s, I think around 35 plus, you are going to start having to aim like a little bit higher and hitting you know towards the head. Um, they don't count as headshots. Don't know why because you know you get the instant red hit marker and you know you, you're technically hitting them in the head, but it doesn't count as a headshot. You don't need headshots for this weapon anyway, it's just kills, uh, which is a pain in the butt to get. But yeah, like if you keep hitting them in the head, this will be, I'm guessing, unlimited damage because even in round 70s, I didn't see any difference in the power of it from round 40 to round 70. It literally stayed just as powerful. It would two-shot the brawlers, it would two to three-shot the gladiators, it would kill a blight father fast, even on round 70 plus. So honestly guys, I do advise you to go in-game and just start playing around with this weapon. It requires 4,800 kills to get the first set of challenges anyway, or the first set of camos. So I really do suggest you go in-game and you actually try this weapon out for yourself because trust me, you will thank me for this. You will honestly, after this video, after playing around it, you'll actually start using this as your second weapon because I know after testing it throughout the day and after playing with it throughout the day, this is for sure a weapon that I'm going to be carrying around with me quite a lot because it is really powerful. Um, 
not really tested it much against bosses so i suppose that'll be for a future video and i'll do like kind of an update video on this one but i just wanted to make this quick video today to let you guys know that you know i have found my new favorite weapon and i really think that you guys should go and test this out you will honestly thank me uh, later for that and that is pretty much going to wrap Oh, the video. I'm surprised that I've been able to talk for five minutes about a weapon. I didn't even think I was going to get to five minutes, but apparently I've made it that far. So, mum, I've made it in life. I've talked about shotgun for five minutes. God, God damn it, what has this channel come to? In all seriousness, though, guys, I, I really do suggest you go in game and you know, you give it a try. may not be your cup of tea. Just go and give it a try. And if, if you do find out that you really like this weapon, then let me know in the comment section. I, I like to know when I've changed the mind of people with certain things. So, go in game. Test it out for a couple of rounds or, you know, a couple of games and let me know what you think of this weapon. Now, I really think this is a dark horse. What's your opinion? So, guys, that will wrap up the video. And if you did enjoy it, a like is appreciated. If you are new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future zombies intel and gameplay. Thank you all for taking the time out of your day to watch this video and I'll see you all in my next video.